Hello everyone and welcome to another build. Today we're back on some Need for Speed Payback once again with a Fox Body Mustang this time. This is a uh, it's a pretty interesting car. It's a very love-hate thing with this car. You either love this car or you hate it. I don't think there's any in-between sort of thing. I like this car. I like this car quite a lot. It's I would definitely not classify this as a Mustang. It's just weird to think about it as a Mustang. Uh, that's probably why people hate it because they love the Mustang. Um, model and obviously when this came out it's just completely different uh, but then again I mean like you can't love all the models of every single car it's it's kind of difficult to, to do that sometimes they ruin it sometimes they make it better etc etc anyway uh, we're here with the Mustang with the Fox body I have been asked by a couple people to go ahead and build this thing up as a drift car and that's exactly what I did it's already cambered from factory <laughs> but uh it's a level 299 it's pretty much maxed out at 299 we can't get this to 399 also what is it with the saying with people lying in my comments saying that they got the car to 399 when the car clearly doesn't go to 399 what what is that i, I don't understand like who what are you trying to prove by saying that you got your car to 399 when the car only goes up to 299 i don't understand where that comes from but it's funny it's funny to see those comments, so don't stop if you're lying. It's it's hilarious uh, to see how people are so stupid. Anyway, welcome to the build. Let's get this started. Too much talking. Too much talking. Too, too, too much talking at the start of videos. I do realize that there's not a lot of stuff that we can actually change in this thing. I definitely want to change. I, I definitely don't want to change in that front bumper. That's a nice classic little bumper there. I do want to get this thing to be nice and aggressive. So I guess some crazy splitters, crazy arches, and uh, and all that sort of good stuff. Ooh, I'd be down to put. Um, I think this ghost one looks pretty insane, so I'm gonna put that on. Maybe we can get some white body going. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's have a nice open hood here. I'd be so cool if you could just remove the hood. Just press Y like the wing and just remove the the hood. That'd be so sick. You should just be allowed to remove body panels on this thing. You definitely should be allowed to do that. Definitely should be allowed to do that. Wait, what's the difference between this one and the last one? It just looks the same. It just looks literally the exact same. Either way, I'm gonna go with some some wide body action here. I don't know how wide body I can go with this thing. Though, I definitely don't want to go like rivets or anything, so I might just go with this bit right here. Rear end, let's choose something that sort of, again, I guess, matches with the front, which is this. It just looks a little bit weird. Yeah, it just looks a little bit weird, but I think once I finish off the whole build, it should look kind of nice. Um, that's that's very race spec, <laughs> let's just put it that way. I'm going to put that on. It looks pretty mad. The fuser, I definitely don't want to add the diffuser on this thing. It's a drift car. That's, that's one hell of a wing. <laughs> that's one hell of a wing. We got some drag wings and some crazy ass, like just normal wings. Uh, that is one crazy <laughs> wing. I did say I was gonna make this thing looks look pretty pretty mad. So you know what? Let's put it on. Let's put it on. What about the tail lights? Can we just remove the whole mat? Yes, we can. They go all LED. I think I can't tell if they do or not, but uh, they kind of look like they went all LED. But I definitely want to remove that mask anyway, off them anyway for the exhaust. <laughs> Here's some big ass exhaust. Okay, I like these. I like these quite a lot. There's a lot of them. I definitely kind of want to go with the twin pipes at the back. I feel like that suits it quite well. Uh, side skirts? I haven't even actually taken a look at the side skirts. There's not really that many. I'll choose this one since it matches the front end. That is... It's a pretty epic build, I'm not gonna lie. So far, it looks pretty mad. Alright, for the headlights, we can go with something a little bit darker, and then obviously the rest of them are tinted, or we can go... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the dark ones, I feel like they look a little bit better. Now the next thing, let's hop over to the wheels and see what sort of uh, options we get for this thing. I mean, there's quite a few of them that I like to put on this thing. I feel like some RTR wheels would suit this quite well. I mean, it is a Mustang at the end of the day, so I feel like RTR, you know, all the way to the end, would have a good set of rims for this thing, which is probably what I'm gonna put on. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put these RTR wheels on. Let's go ahead and put the same ones on the rear end. It looks pretty badass anyway, so we'll do the exact same thing. And then, let's go ahead and check out some paints for this thing, because that'd be kind of interesting to see what sort of uh, what sort of paints people have got for this thing. I mean, the one paint that I really would like to put on this thing is probably one to match Matt Farrow's one, which is just pretty much just a flat black, like a nice matte black. That'll be kind of sick. 
to put on, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what people have, uh, have actually created for this thing, because that'd be kind of cool to see um, what people have done for, for this uh, for this Mustang. Let's have a look. Right now, all white. Black hood. Big thrust master at the top. Kind of cool, kind of cool. It's not, the, it's not bad looking. Just a white and black sort of combo. This is full on white. The front bumper is black, though. That just looks weird. Um, next. <laughs> This reminds me of a, of a Ford Sierra. This this is exactly what this car reminds me of. I just looked at it like from a specific angle. It's from like this angle, something like that. It just looks like a Ford Sierra. It honestly just looks like a Ford Sierra. That that's sick looking. I like this paint though, especially with this paint on it. I feel like this looks a lot more like a Ford Sierra, and I really like this paint quite a lot. It's got the five O on the side. That's pretty cool. You know what? Let's put this on. Let's put this on. I really like that. Oh, I, I just saw the next one. One sec, one sec, one sec. I saw the next one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it and see what's on it. That's pretty cool, dude. That's that's pretty cool. I forgot the Von Gittin Jr. also has one of these. That is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. That is really, really nice looking. Anyway, let's go back. I definitely do like this paint quite a lot, so I'm gonna keep that on. Anyway, Let's take it out, and I'll show you guys what this thing is actually like to drive, because that's kind of important. Also, I did ask you guys to show me some different events that you guys want to see me do and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think for drifting anybody suggested anything. Uh, I think they have suggested stuff for, like, off-road, and I think maybe one for a race. I don't even know which one. I'll just go do a, a different event. Um, I actually kind of like the LEDs at the back. I'll just go do a different event uh, out somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Um... A drifting event, see if I can find a decent one. Uh, what's this one look like? It's a bit too too easy looking. I think there's one like here. That's kind of interesting to, to do. Not that one. And this one's pretty much the other way around. Is it this one? Yeah, this was, this one seems kind of long. So I kind of feel like I, I, I can do that one. That one's a bit too easy by the looks of things. This one looks pretty interesting. And we can teleport right next to it. Let's do that one. Let's do that, that drift event. Let's see how many points we can actually squeeze out there. Plus, it's got to be on actual roads, not just, like, drifting around the block. Quote-unquote. Pretty much what the event is. It sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty good. So, I'm expecting big things from this at this event. I haven't actually tried it on any other event except for the drifting around the block thing. Um, Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's see. It is pretty good, though, on the drifting around the block, by the way. For anyone wondering, that that's the event I used to sort of level this thing up, and I got to about six hundred thousand, which is pretty damn good for a level two ninety nine car. Just over six hundred thousand, just about to get I think seven hundred thousand points, somewhere around that area is uh, is where I ended up with this thing. It's too many straight roads though here. There's not a lot of corners. There we go. Now we're finally hitting some corners. Finally, some action. And then it just goes back to the straight road again. That's why the other event is kind of more interesting because you just drift all the time. Uh, anyway, control over this is easy. That's one thing I should tell you guys. The control over this guy is pretty easy. It does get annoying to a point because of it only being a level 299, I just feel like it doesn't have the, the same power as obviously the other ones that go up with the 399. The thing is... When you get this thing, like, just to a small, small slide, right? Not not even, like, a huge, huge angle sort of thing. It feels like it's going to bite back and then just straighten up again. Instead of actually sliding again. So that's that's one problem that I kind of have with this car. And you'll be able to see it while I'm driving now. Because it's definitely happened. Like, I just go and I hop this thing into an angle. And then would try, like, would I sort of go to kind of correct it a little bit. Just to have less angle. It just straightens up fully, and it's just, it's kind of annoying to, to deal with. But, uh, overall the car isn't, isn't terrible. Not even close to being terrible, it's, it's a very good car to drive. Um, but, uh, again, like I said, it has its, it has its little flaws, and that's kind of annoying to deal with. Um, okay. And also, it's weird driving on, on this terrain, since I haven't actually driven on, or drifted on any of these courses for a long, long time, actually, since... Pretty much since I ended up, uh, since I ended up doing the story and stuff like that, I don't think I've ever actually drifted on on these roads. But yeah, this is uh, this is the score I can actually squeeze out with this thing on this event. 
Level 299 car. It's still pretty well. I'm honestly surprised. I think it was like a million to beat. I don't know who got a million. There for my friends. Um, but someone got a million points there. And then... I think I could probably beat it. Actually, maybe not. No, I can't beat it. <laughs> I just looked at it. 9,200? Jesus. 923. Yeah, a million and forty thousand points there. That's my best record for this thing. As you can see, I've never tried it again with any other car except for like in the story mode. When I ended up doing that. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the Mustang. It's a little bit weird to, to control once it tries to straighten up. Uh, so you kind of have to hit the, the E brake a little bit more. And uh, it'll help then to sort of get the back end out again but uh overall this thing's a beast i'm happy with it i am really happy with the with the way this car came out so thank you guys very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you have any other suggestions of any future builds you want to see on the channel let me know down in the comments below and also let me know of any other races that you guys want me to go ahead and take part in just to show off how cars actually work because i really don't want to be doing the same races over and over again it does get boring even for me i know it's like it's a thing where i could test out cars and stuff like that which i will be doing still for for like the race cars because it's easy to test them out and show you guys what sort of times I can get with them and all that sort of stuff but for drift cars and stuff like that I feel like I can just do any other event uh, or even drag cars I could just like a do any event and show you guys how good or bad the car is but for, for racing it's it's kind of a good thing to stick to that hyperspace circuit since it's uh, pretty much like a place where I can time all the, all the cars in and I can actually see exactly what specific times I can get with the cars on those events anyway Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.